you know, it's just weird. Like, I know it's just stuff, but it's like all your pictures and wedding dress and it's, it's just weird. And I used to love, we were so happy here. And, you know, all of our neighbors that we'll never live with again. And it's just sad. I know we'll all do okay. And I just feel bad about my cat that I loved. But at least my dog made it and my husband could have died. I mean, he slipped under the house. And the fact that he's alive should, you know, you just have to think about the good stuff. God, I mean, how could my cat have survived? There's no way. <laughs> oh, poor kitty. Early that morning, anchor Rebecca Powers and her husband Ben wake up with plans to head back to WLOX, or so they think. I remember seeing water and feeling things really rocky. Rebecca then makes an ominous discovery. A pine tree fallen in our cul-de-sac. We couldn't get out. Others are trapped too. 911 receives frightening phone calls. 911, we're right on the first line right now. It's going up with water. Okay, how deep is it? The water in your house? The water is up to my kitchen counter. Okay, how deep is it? Sorry, you come down. Okay, we don't have any emergency personnel out on the roads right now. Oh, gosh, we're going to die. News anchor Rebecca Powers is about to enter the fight of her life. She's trapped at her home, and like in neighborhoods all over the coast, the water is rising rapidly. So my husband said, well, we have a two-story. We can't, the water can't get that high. With our house being 22 feet up the slab, we figured we're all right. But it won't be all right. What Rebecca and others who stay behind don't realize is that Katrina is pushing a giant wall of water, the storm surge. In some places, it will be 30 feet high. It started getting higher, a little higher. And then with the, where the wall meets the roof, I started to see clouds. You could see light coming through the cracks in the house. Then you knew, boy, this is, this is a big deal. Rebecca calls her executive producer at WLOX. Called and told her the house was falling apart and please tell the sheriff my address. And Natalie just said, sweetheart, they're on lockdown. It's bad, it's getting really bad. No one's gonna come for you. And I could hear her voice panic a little. She then speaks to her close friend, meteorologist Carrie Duncan. I was on the phone with her when her house started coming apart. She's like, I've got to go. And I was like, I love you. That kind of put a sense of dread in the whole building because everybody knew about it. We knew we couldn't stay in the house. Took our driver's license and put them in our pockets. And just said, so they'll know who we are. Rebecca and Ben plan to escape through their second story window and into a hot tub floating just below. Through our cat, through our dog, I jumped. I thought he jumped right behind me. When I was coming out the window, the house kind of fell, and so I couldn't go out. I had to kind of go down, so the house was kind of pinning me down underwater. I didn't realize he was under. And so luckily, I could just kind of crawl my way out and popped up right behind her. Rebecca and Ben's cat escapes, but there's no time to find it. They're exposed and must seek shelter. There was debris and wood everywhere. We grab onto tree limbs, grab onto debris, kind of make our way across out of our little circle to the older part of the street. At a neighbor's house, they take refuge on the roof of a car and ride out the hurricane. The sky got dark and we were sitting on the roof of that car, huddled like this with our raincoats on and our dog between us. It's so fatiguing. It's not like you can just sit there and hang out. I mean, it's, you're getting pushed around, winds 100 miles an hour. And we were there on that hood for about five hours. I was like, has anybody talked to Rebecca? Has anybody out there? No, we haven't heard from her, we haven't heard from her. For the employees of WLOX, there is one bright spot in their nightmare of a day. Anchor Rebecca Powers comes home. When I got back to the station, I had people going, oh my God, and hugging me and crying. It was one of those things that in seeing her and getting, I'm looking right there because that's where we hugged. 
This is Rebecca just hours after her terrifying ordeal. When they say evacuate everyone, really do it. Instead of staying at this TV station like I should have, I went home to stay with my husband, a block off the beach, and we pretty much had to jump out of the second story. The water rose so fast, even with board and windows, the door smashed in, the water, the waves. I mean, it, it was like up to the 10th step within like three minutes. After you hear the stories and after you see what actually happened to her neighborhood, Fear really sets in at that point, and you just wonder how in the world did she survive? When you lose everything, you realize what really matters. It really is only the people you love. Oh, the sky filled up with lightning. It began with pouring rain I could hear the storm approaching Like a distant train I could see the water rising Staring through the window pane We held on to each other Floating to the bay Washed away As the wind and waves were crashing, we said our last goodbyes. Surrounded by the water, caught up in the tide. Out of nowhere came an island with roots so deep and wide. Lost away. It's lost away.